I love the collective work. What? I brought the venue and you brought the meals. You know, that's how relationships should be. Teamwork. Bring whatever you can to the table. <laughs> and you want to bring two men, huh? Ramsey, I am polyamorous. You know, I actually find that very abnormal. I know the society frowns at it. But don't you think the world would be less miserable if people were allowed to be themselves? <laughs> Toto. So what you're saying is everyone should just do what they like, you know? Just embrace your desires, get rid of the rules, and just do whatever you wanted. So a fifth could steal, a killer could kill, and a girl can have as many men as she was attracted to. Is that what you're saying? You see, Ramsey, mm. what I'm saying is that the more of our desires that we are permitted to connect with, the more conscious of ourselves we become. And the more peace we find within ourselves and everything else around us. The truth is, I am happy. Like, really happy. I like the idea of monogamy. Marriage and raising children. Trust me, I am not mentally there. And I know you are saying in your heart of heart that this lady here is abnormal. It's fine. I hear that a lot. <laughs> hmm. Well, I honestly haven't met a woman like you or even one with your sexual orientation. I'm sorry. The truth is, I really do like you a lot. But I want to be kept a secret. It is either you or your wife, or you forget this attraction between you and I. Hey, dear Marie. Hi. Still struggling with the block? date yesterday with Ramsey made it worse. Did you at least need to discuss the app with me? Brenda, it's hard to find a man who'd want to share his tumor with another man and a woman who'd want to share her man with another woman. Cassie only accepted because we were already together before she came into the picture, so accepting the condition was her only option. You know this. So why did you accept it? Because I want to be with you, obviously. And as for that David guy, I, I think he's with you because he has commitment issues. Are you 
saying I break up with both of you and become Ramsey's secret girlfriend. No, no, how come? That's not possible. That's what I'm saying. As a matter of fact, I'm saying the exact opposite. I don't feel good about that Ramsey guy. There's just something a bit off about him and he's so dramatic. What I'm trying to say is, I think you should keep whatever you have with this Ramsey guy professional. I just don't like him for some reason. expecting you. Uh, but you're welcome anyway. I understand that somewhere in that critically twisted mindset of yours, you believe we're friends. But let me make this clear once and for all. Brenda, I am not your friend. I don't see girls like you, Taya. Girls that pretend that they don't need a man to be committed and loyal to them. Now, now from back, they go sneak thief person boyfriend, Mariam. And me can tell you if now your plan with that, you no go work. You hear me? You no go work for well, me and my tea day. Do you understand? And Brenda, I in my normal senses will never think that sharing my man with another woman is cool. So me and you know they do any poly nonsense. One more thing. The only way that this will end is by you staying far, far, far away from Toby! Honeymoon. <clears throat> and is that why you didn't show face last night? I didn't want to show my face because I felt free as a crowd. Hmm. So someone is meeting by their own rules now. Hell no. No freaking way. Smitten. Mm -hmm. I'm rather worried about people getting smitten by my own rules. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Not everyone understands polyamor. Well, whatever works for one. The question is, does it work for you? Um, it did sit well with me before. But I guess I love it well enough to accept her rules. And I love you too. Always keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you for always reminding me of my worth. Liberi, I do not see the practicality of that app. I mean, if you don't want to go to the market, then send someone. But you'll be sending someone digitally. It's a waste of time. How so? <clears throat> when you want to go to the market, you make a list, right? Now, why don't you pick up your phone, go to the app, make a list of whatever it is you want to buy, 
ranging from condiments, bag of rice, whatever it says you want. The app will give you an estimate. And once you place your order, once you OK your order, an agent nearest to you will be selected to make the routes for you. Hmm. And guess what? It will be delivered right to your doorstep. And trust me, right on time for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whichever one you're having. Wow, so it's, a, it's a very brilliant idea. I know. <laughs> but I just do not think it's, it, it's very useful. I mean, a lot of people will still go to the local market and local stores to buy what they want to buy. I beg to disagree. Um, oh, my angel is here. See how you woke up and you brushed your blood forth without mm -hmm. even bothering a my. <laughs> you were sleeping, I, I, I didn't want to wake you. Breakfast in bed won't have any bad. I'm sorry, I will think of it next time. Do you want to have mine? Good morning, Brenda. <clears throat> Good morning, Brenda. <sighs> he wants to have you. You're still not safe. Um, I'll go get the door. Hey, why are you are Let me pick up my phone upstairs. Now, come. I'll go get my phone. <laughs> You didn't tell me you were coming. Can I have a Zimmy? Sarah! It's you! I am Cassandra Ojuku. I work with your company, Twin Cup. I am a junior executive. I was at Mr. Badumos' birthday last month and you were there too. Hmm. Okay, but I mean, you know that I'm not the chairman of Twin Corp, right? Yes, you own 80% of the company. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm just a financial investor. I like to invest financially in businesses because I'm really not interested in the nitty gritty of uh, running a company. I like my freedom. As are we all love our freedom, just that some of us can't afford it. <laughs> it's okay. What do you say, Nimbus? Cassandra Ojuku, sir. Okay. Well, I'll put in a good word with my friend, Mr. Badamasi, right? <laughs> that would be lovely, sir. Sure. Thank you very much, sir. I will allow the both of you to. Yes, I'll have them send them to you as soon as possible. Yes, thank you. Ramsin Naman is in your sitting room. Are you serious? Atlantic Bank of Nigeria is owned by the father. The family runs the biggest hotel in Nigeria. That guy is the freaking goats. <gasps> Tell me, are you into him already? Because you're tripping. I can see you're tripping. You know you can always talk to him. Do you like him? Namani is way out of my league. I can't even dream. Mm. One, he's very married. And secondly, I know we agreed that I can date older men, but I really don't want to. I just want you alone. She's going to chair her into Shrek's. I really don't care about what happens to that girl. Come on, don't be mean. Are you still going downstairs to eat? Me, I won't go. I don't want Mr. Ramsey to see me as busybody. He's somehow my boss and I don't want to lose my job. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Ramsey? Mr. Ramsey is your boss? You are mine. You are mine. 
somebody help I need help from a demon help somebody please come and save me help yes I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing help help I need help from a demon help somebody please come and save me help Yes, I've been fighting on my own and I know that I'm losing. <coughs> mm -hmm. Classic. Where is he? Listen, I know you don't like me. I know. But I want to tell you that I am done crying for bullies. You are free, free to express your hatred to me, however you wish to. But the rest is short, right? I won't let it cut deeper than a surface. <laughs> You're high. <laughs> I love alcohol. I love to drink. This, this makes me happy. Don't judge me, please. Don't judge me. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> Anyways, T said he won't talk to me except I render a sincere apology. I can't pretend I like you, but I really like T. I guess I have to say it's been his pet girlfriend. Oh, uh, Cassie, you are not a spare. Okay? You don't need to make me feel better. I am not even trying to. The only reason T is with you is because he likes you. And he likes the freedom I give him. If you really want to have T, on a lockdown don't make it hard for him to be with you i heard you so can i tell him we're cool now of course yes you can thank you thank you gus Babe? Yes? How well do you know Brenda? I know she's an incredible woman. When I went into her room to apologize, she was high. Reminded me of the first time I met with her. She was high. I think she has some sort of alcohol addiction thing going on. Mm -mm. And that's not true. The Brenda I know is like the most goal-oriented, coordinated and health-conscious person I've ever met in my entire life. So I don't think that's true. Perfect people have demons too. So are you trying to insinuate that Brenda's demon is alcohol addiction? 
I think her demands are whatever that makes her consume more alcohol than she should. I I know I have seen Brenda High a couple of times, but she seemed okay to me. She's eccentric. Someone is just jealous. I know I'm jealous, all right? But this has nothing to do with jealousy. I think she needs help. As in, okay, normally, how can a girl be dating three men at the same time? She needs help. She's a nutcase. No, Brenda might seem a bit off with her approach to relationships. But Brenda is a very intelligent and smart woman. She knows what she's doing. She takes proper care of herself. So just let her be, okay? You're right. I don't know even why I'm bothering my head with someone that is grown up enough to take care of herself. It's the lower I see down, can drown my demons. Cause they know how to swim. Just when I think that it's over, I hear my demon whisper. You are mine. Hi, team. Good morning. I'm very well. How was your night? I did help was from a team of hell. Somebody please come and save me. Mm-hmm. And Cassie's as well. I love you too. <laughs> well, I think the alcohol is a little bit harsh. You might want to reduce it next time. Alcohol is the most interesting part of this cocktail. And the next cocktail I will be making I'll be adding more of whiskey, dark rum, and cognac. Mm. Wow. <laughs> anyway, this is the least okay. for the things we need in the house. I'll be sending you half of my own payment because I won't be going to the grocery store with you. You see why DG Mart is important. You don't have to go to the store. Blueberry, I do not have a problem with going to the store. But hey, Digimart is a very brilliant idea. Finally! <laughs> hey. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Cassie. What is this? Well, I need for the house. 75k on drinks. Are you guys throwing a party of who gets drunk first? Mm. I like that game. How is it played? Oh, my bad. I didn't know you were being sarcastic. <laughs> anyway, the truth is, these drinks are expensive. Okay? And like I told you yesterday, I do alcohol a lot. I know you're judging me right now, but I really don't care. Babe, kindly let me know when you get an alliance, okay? <laughs> Come here. <gasps> what? I only shared my observation. Because, you know, Brenda is one woman I know who loves to mind her business. Some other women like to thrive in other people's business, which is exactly what you do. So while women like you are busy fighting for a man's attention, women like her bask in men's attention. I think I will overstate my welcome. Rubbish. Oh, babe. Babe, wait. Babe. Babe, I'm sorry. I know it's not fair comparing you with Brenda. I, I do not have any justifiable reason to do that. I'm sorry. But babe, can you for a moment pause to take away emotions from all of this and see that I'm just, I'm just trying to point out the qualities in this other woman. 
qualities that I admire. Qualities that you can possess if you want to strengthen what we share. But because clearly Brenda is not the problem, I'm the problem. So just stop taking out to walk in your head and, and just focus on us. Please, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, okay. Coming. Hey. Hi. Okay. You should have just knocked. Well, I wouldn't know if you were talking with a client. I don't work on Mondays. But they pay you every month. A big link me now. They pay me every Monday. Sit. <laughs> okay. But you're all linked up now. You're all linked up to those billionaires you represent. Oh, well, you think I'm not aware that they pay you some serious six figures. <laughs> Come here. You know, I've missed you. Missed you too. <laughs> so how is work? And why didn't you call me first? Okay. First off, work was great and um, kind of rough patches, but you know how it is. Well, I didn't call because I didn't want you accusing me of falling for you. <laughs> it's not that bad. I know. Come here. <laughs> Shall we please go to the room? Very well then. I lead the way. Oh. Right behind you. Mm. You said you have an investor now, yeah? Oh yes. I met him online. He's already discussing with a dozen of smart people who work for him. Okay. Once they give their go-ahead on the idea, he would have no option but to dole out the points. So, do you want me in? I mean, I can represent you. And of course, you know you don't have to pay me. I don't think I'll be needing the lawyer now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Besides, he, he seems genuine. Okay. By the way, where are you off to? <laughs> Tomorrow is Sunday, and I know you do not go to church. Okay. Are you in a way asking me to sleep with me? You startled me. How is T? Is he back? He called. He's on his way. That's fine. You know, I had this friend when I was in school. She always cheats on her boyfriend, no matter how nice they are to her. 
because she was a sex addict. And she never got satisfaction from one man. In other words, you, you think that I am a sex addict. <laughs> Sweetheart, listen. I can always get a man who would match my energy, if that's the case. You know, I think you need help. But sweetheart, we all need help. I am taking care of my demons. How about you? You are leaving my house to your husband's house today. My mother got married at the age of 13, so you won't be the first. You are lucky that even with five wives, Chief Solo paid attention to you. Do you think any man wants a troll like you? You are worthless, Brenda, and you will forever be worthless. People can change, people can learn and grow If we decide, decide to face our feet Look in the eyes, look in the eyes of the demon I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing People can change, people can learn and grow if we decide, decide to face our feet, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. What are you doing? Somebody help. I need help from the Sorry, I woke you up. Somebody please. And, uh, what are you drinking in the middle of your life? Like can't I'm sleep. Up. Something about your Does it work? It's... <sighs> there is this voice that I do not know how to shut out. It's... It's been with me for the longest. Uh, is, it, is it a negative voice? What's the same? Fine, uh, you're not gonna tell me. I, I respect that, but how can I help? This is all the help that I need.
Ah, Chairman. I would have loved to shake you, but my hands are quite busy. I'm guessing you are the lawyer guy, right? The name is David. Yeah, David. Pardon my manners, I'm just surprised to see uh, a stranger in my kitchen. I'm in a latest relationship with Brenda and um, it will be out of place to refer to me as another man. Yes. Right. Just that Brenda doesn't usually allow her police to spend the night. See, I I know I agreed to do this polyamorous thing with Brenda. But the least thing I expected of her was to pick men who cannot control their emotions around other people. Yeah, you're right. I mean if if Brenda can be mature about this whole affair, then we shouldn't act like babies. We hope you know so. Nothing. We are we're here to have breakfast. I didn't make breakfast in the It's okay. We can share what you made. David, we don't cook separately in this house. I know you are not aware of it, so it's not your fault. But can we at least share it? Please, babe. I can make something for us. I want toast bread. I will make toast bread. I want this toast bread. Nonsense. <laughs> Very well then, um, it, I guess it will be enough for the three of us then. It will be enough for us, won't it? Blueberry! You said I get so emotional about this whole thing. Now see who can't keep their jealousy under wraps. Law is about arguments and winnings. Why are you running off at the slightest argument? Brenda, you've made it crystal clear that I can have you. So I stick around for this drama. Are you breaking up with me? Is that what you want? David, why can't you say that I like you? I don't want to force you to be with me if you do not want to. I can't possibly force anything in my life. I just want to have what I can have and see how everything plays out for me in the end. Brenda, look, I'm not breaking up with you, okay? I just feel it's necessary I keep my distance from my life, but that's all. Oh, oh, oh Lord. David, how many times do I have to tell you that there is no competition? There is competition in life. Brenda, just want to go out of my life. Gets seventy percent, mm -hmm. while I get thirty. Yep. Well, I actually think I deserve seventy percent, considering the fact that I'm actually putting a lot of money and efforts into this particular project to bring it to life. Mm. 
Well, you deserve 70% of a kiss. Hmm. Tell her the truth, and I will give you more than a kiss. But come to think of it, she doesn't love you anymore, and you don't even love her as well. The feeling is mutual. Both of you don't even live together. What's the worst that can happen? Well, hello to you too, Neko. How are you? <laughs> well, I have a girlfriend. Well, unfortunately, my girlfriend does not mind me having an estranged wife. She just threatened me. I um, I got that on my last trip to Venice. I was actually waiting for an opportunity to give it to me. This is, this is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Listen. No man has ever gifted me something this expensive and beautiful. Really? Oh, yes. But you have two boyfriends, though. And yes, they are sweet, thoughtful, and caring. But you see, we don't have the kind of relationship where they get to buy me things like this. I understand. I understand the reason. I mean, I'm sure they would be like, oh, why would I buy her something that's expensive when she's not mine? I totally do understand. Not like I care. I don't care. Besides, I hate to be anyone's responsibility. Let's see. Listen. I will make you my responsibility. Okay. You know, I'm actually not desperate when it comes to pursuing or chasing after things that I know would eventually be mine. But I want you, Brenda. I do. And I've always wanted you from the very first date. And I still want you, even now, after seeing you naked. He won't want me, if you know my past. Brenda, your past is irrelevant to me. No, it is not irrelevant. My past is what formed the foundation of my present. But you once told me that you don't get your identity from your past. Perhaps I lied. It's okay, listen. <sighs> 
I'm not defined or limited by my actions five seconds ago. I mean, it's just a part of me, not all of me. Okay? Listen, I'm constantly giving myself room to grow and connect with situations and events around me. Brenda, you should do the same. What if... What if my past is all of me? I'm scared to get though. What if my past is the real me? What if this woman you are attracted to is just a mask that I wear to hide it all? I love the mask. And I love the person wearing the mask. Cause they know how to swim. <sighs> well, uh, hey, I'm going to South Africa, Cape Town, next weekend. And, uh, and I want you to come with me. Somebody else. I need help from my demon. Somebody please come and save me. Cause I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. Help. Help. I, I hate how I feel right about now. I, I don't Somebody even know what to say. Come and save me. Maybe some other time, please. I, I hate how I feel right Um. I don't want to lose my head in People this, please. Let's just take it slow. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if you insist. I guess I'll have to be on my way now. Oh. I will get in touch with my lawyers and legal team and they'll draft out uh, the necessary documents to set the ball rolling. All right. Thank you. Can you know, I'm kind of excited about this, though. It sort of reminds me of my wife when she started blocking <clears throat> Speaking of which, what's up between both of you? Oh, well, we are we're separated, but not legally. And... You don't want the public to know about it. We don't want our business going to You know, I'm more concerned about the money. So, both of you get to stay married? And for how long? For as long as I'm certain that she's not married. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to T. He's making pasta. And did I ever tell you that T makes the best meals ever? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you see why it is good to have a housemate? Because you get to eat 
free lunch, breakfast, and dinner, and tea does this like every other time for me. <laughs> All right, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can hear you, but seriously, babe, I am telling you the truth. Hey. See. Mm -hmm. what Here. A surprise. I, you've never served me breakfast in bed. Well, let's say I realized the mistake I made. I should have been more involved emotionally. And still doing well. Can I tell you the truth? You see, living with you, experiencing this thing that I experienced with you is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. No, I am not kidding. You you took me in. You, 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 you made me a part of you. You defend me in so many ways that no one else has defended me. Oh, oh sweetheart. What else do you want to hear me say? <laughs> <laughs> and in you, I see a lifetime friend. A friend. Brenda, is, is that what you see when you look at me? Oh, here we go again. Well, T, we promised never to have this conversation. Promises are meant to be broken. Brenda, change is constant. T, I will not give up my independence for anyone or anything. I have lived a dependent life and it damaged me so much. You are not. Brenda, you're not damaged. I see because of the alcohol addiction. Yes. Cassie told me she she had seen you high a couple of times. And here I've also seen you elated for no reason a good number of times. And here I've also for no fine, reason fine, a good number of bar of time. I admit I've been just a little bit friendly with alcohol. Fine. But I don't see it as a problem. I admit as a matter of fact, uh, I've been it helps me live with myself. Sweetheart, that's an addiction. No, that is me trying to live. People have been whose memories are just a little filled bit. with colorful and beautiful data and information just that keep them bit. happy all day long. I've been, but for someone like me who has seen bit. and heard the things that I have heard, I've been, I will go crazy. If I do not at least try to shut the voices out. I've been just a little bit. I've been just a little bit. Here, I've been here. Just a little bit. Drink.
Sweetheart, have you considered seeing a psychotherapist? Many times I have been considered suicide. <laughs> no, that's not funny. I know. I the reason I fight my demons alone. He won't have to make you breakfast today. What is wrong with him? <laughs> this guy is so petty. <clears throat> Which guy? Oh, you have an early start today. Yes, we are starting a new project today. Oh, okay. Do you have a new admirer? An old admirer anyway, but he's trying to score a point. Ramsey. I've never called Cassie that man. You like him? I like everybody in my life. And of course you know what I'm talking about, but you are going to pretend as if you do not know what I'm talking about. I'll see you later. I need help from a demon, help. Somebody please come and save me, help. Yes, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing, help, help. I need help from a demon, help. Somebody please come and save me, help. Yes, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like People can change, people can learn and grow If we decide, decide to face our feet Look in the eyes, look in the eyes of the demon Brenda, I thought you stopped drinking in the dark Brenda, I told you to always come to my room anytime you can't sleep. How do you want to lose memories? How do I delete the states that won't stop playing in my head? I want you to picture the mind like, like nature, the forest, or better still, this living room. You know, I can see everything in this living room at the same time. I can only see the ones I lay my eyes on at a time. And that is how our mind works. Everything we have been through in this life is here, creating the space in our head. What brings what to light is focus. Without focus, everything remains in the dark. Brenda, I think you're focusing on the wrong things. You think I made it this far by focusing on the wrong things? I just launched an app that is about to make history. I work and earn online. I, I am writing my first novel. But there are moments, moments that's when I'm not doing all of these things. And I am forced to face all that I have buried. And 
I have no clue, absolutely no clue on how to handle them. We all have our demons, but we'll have to learn to live with them. I can't keep living with these demons. If I keep living with these demons, I may never truly have a permanent place for another. This, this demons occupy a huge space in my heart that I would love to give to another. Is this about Ramsey? What makes you think so? Because I realize that lately you've been more concerned about being accepted. I care less about acceptance. I know my place. Where is your place? Alone. In the dark. Drinking. And hiding from the rest of the world. But why then are you not happy in this dark where you claim you belong? sleep with every rich man in my circle. Exactly. You know, I used to think you have standards, but I just realized you are like every one of them. You do anything possible to get what you want. That's so dead. Brenda! Could you please calm down? I should calm down. Brenda, how did you get his number? No, tell me. How? Did you get his number? I went to your Facebook right first. Mm. And I chatted him. I knew it. I knew it! Does he know whom you are? Does he know we know each other, Brenda? No. Now I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Now I see it! Brenda! No wonder you refused me to read you the last phase of the pitch before the last meeting, Brenda. David. <laughs> David, at first it was just the pitch and nothing more. The attraction came naturally. The attraction came naturally, Brenda. You know what? I wish you good luck, baby girl, because you'll be needing all of it when his wife comes for you. David. So, what are you going to do? How do you mean? David just broke up with you. But I still have two men in my life. Brenda, why do I feel like there's a hole in your life that you're trying to fill up using the wrong approach? What's with the right and wrong theory of yours lately? Of course, you know I'm a life coach, so pointing out the right and wrongs to people is what I do best. Sweetheart, my life is just perfect. Mm. And I'd advise you, tune it down a little with the judgment. Baby girl, I'm, I'm not judging. I'm just, I'm just trying to point out... Um, you know what? Let's let's not have this argument. Let's not even have. Let's not have this conversation. Why did you go to his Facebook to steal his boss's contact and messaged him even after he told you that he wasn't cool with you becoming friends with his boss? Why would anyone steal someone else's friend? Anyone would have linked up with his Facebook friends. By the way, the internet is where people connect. Yeah. 
Brenda. So in your head, you feel what you did was the right thing. Texting his boss and having sex with him, that was the right thing to do? T, I didn't do that. Trust me. I only needed someone who is loaded to pitch my idea to. And David seems not to be interested. Besides, he's not really his boss. David is self-employed. <laughs> Brenda. Brenda, see, I don't really know what you've been through in life. I don't really know what you've experienced in life that is making you take the type of decisions you think. Well, it's colorful. But I just don't want you to get caught in the web. So. Are you breaking up with me as well? You know, I can be whatever you want me to be. I just want you to tread with caution. Did you have to buy me the whole of South Africa? Well, just what I thought you'd like. That's... So, um... I actually split with my lawyer. I did when I was a kid. And, uh, he sent me soft copies of your plan. Are you serious? Yeah, of course, of course. Things you're genius. What? Yeah. Wait, whoa. Why do you sound so surprised? <laughs> Your plan is actually extraordinary. Listen, it's actually like walking into a supermarket or open market without even having to be there. I'm <laughs> taking technology to the next level, trust me. Yeah. You are so optimistic. And it is a good thing. I'm telling you, but you don't understand why when you see what myself and my team are putting together. So we're actually speaking to a bunch of market women. Some people are assigned to do that and then bring them forward. Now, once you open the app, you'll be introduced to a virtual market. Right? The whole idea is we're trying to get our customers and consumers to actually feel like they're walking into a supermarket open market or their favorite stores without even having to be there physically. Now that's extraordinary. <sighs> it is. Well, let's leave that aside. Let's talk about us. I warned you about that guy. That guy is used so much drama. Now look at it. He was only... He was only funding my ideas. He... He believes in me more than anyone else has shown me. No, babe, don't say that. You know I've always supported you. You know this. No, no, no. I, uh, I'm not referring to you. Of course, I know that for a fact. And hey, the demand is huge. Just that I, I'm not rich enough to fund it. You know, honesty, I, I had thoughts that you felt it was a useless idea. Why would you think that? So, um, what are you going to do about his wife?
not okay with the deal? I asked you to bring your lawyer, but uh, you insisted that you didn't have any need for that. There is something I need to tell you. Well, I think we're done here. I will uh, print the copies and send to the parties involved. If you let me. David. Oh no, I'm very sorry, David, ma'am. I'm sorry. Do you two know each other? Of course not. No, not at all. I, I should be on my way. Thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. This is a great business opportunity for you and I, and everyone else who is involved. I guess that should matter to us right now. Please. Well, uh, I actually see you want to be left alone, so um, I'll just leave you alone. Don't you think we should celebrate? No, it's all right. We can celebrate whenever you're feeling better. And, 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 and is your wife back from Abuja? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on my wife. And she can do whatever she wants, I don't care. And you don't need to be worried about her. No, I'm not. So see you. And Usu is a child dedicated to a deity at birth. I personally took you to the oracle when we were born. I thought you would bring good luck and open the door for other children. But your Omanje has refused. How can just one person be ugly, crippled and also is Tamara at the same time? You are a cursed child. And if you don't, don't take your time, time, I will do to you the same thing, thing that, that I did to you. Come in, T. Depression and determined to win. Depression? What can you possibly be depressed about? Wait, haven't you been online? What have you been doing with your phone? Your app has hit 1 million users in three days. Three fucking days, Brenda. What are you saying? What are you, what, what, what's, what's, what's depression? Brenda, you've been right all along. Digimart will definitely replace the, our usual shopping system. You're a genius. I'm proud of you. Okay. Because... No, no. No, no. 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 no, 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 no. I am overwhelmed. Sometimes I feel like I am living someone else's life. I feel like I'm, I'm borrowing the person I am. The beauty, the intelligence, all of this, I feel like they are not mine. Come, 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 come,
No, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> listen, listen to me. We've all been there at some point in our lives. But through pretending, we become. Through believing, we possess. And through faith, we conquer. Brenda, listen to me. I want you to keep pretending to be that person you think you're pretending to be. Continue pretending to be that person. And one day, you will find out that you are that person you're pretending to be. Are you married? Why aren't you talking? Why is she married? Yes, what if she's married? I mean, not as if she agreed to a monogamous relationship with you. Well, excuse me, the news out there is that Brenda actually left her marriage to seduce me to leave my marriage. Oh, now you're afraid of making headlines. Bro, you live in the news. Brenda, they are about to shut down the app. What? Exactly. Now that's half a billion naira worth of investments about to go down the drain. So I need to know exactly what's going on here. Oh, wait, wait. So what has Brenda been married or not married got to do with the app? Excuse me. I'm married. She's married. Now that's two adulterers trying to introduce a business to a society that values, that values morals more than development. I trust my wife to write the meanest things on the blogs. Well, it's your wife who's about to destroy your business and not Brenda. Brenda gave her an edge. I told you let's not involve her, but you wouldn't listen. You insisted that you wanted a polyamorous relationship. Now look at what, look at, look at where this has put us now. When she came to you to confront you, why didn't you tell me that you had other things and secrets that could ruin us? It is unfair. It is so unfair dragging me back to the life that I didn't choose.
Call me. Ta da! Who wants some company? How about work? It will survive a day without. Here. Don't you want to know if I am married? Blueberry, I, I only want to know what you feel comfortable sharing. Even if it is nothing? I see you, Brenda. Not who you were, but who you have become, which is who the rest of the world should see. I'm offering you a drink. Here. Here. We love history. Why do you think people meet strangers and Begin to ask questions like, where did you grow up? Which school did you attend? And what happened when you were 10? It's like everything, everything, we've been through still forms a huge part of our description. Brenda, we all have something in our head that we do not like to see. What crazy difference is how everyone decides to handle theirs. Cheers, Brenda. I was married at the age of 13. He was my father's friend, an age mate. father forced me to marry him. Why? I was disabled. I don't understand. I was crippled. I had, I had this offensive body odor and, and my skin was blemished. My mother ran mad when I was nine and died before I turned 13. Sorry, but I don't understand. I know, right? I'm not making any sense. I know. Because you can't possibly picture the girl I'm describing. She doesn't just fit into the girl sitting right in front of you. first time of ever walking was when I was 15. What happened? I can't. 
can't even explain it. I, I felt God got tired of my tears. And one morning, I, 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 I woke up without any smell. I, 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 I woke up without stuttering. Everyone said to me that I was cursed at birth. And in all honesty, that was the only explanation that made sense to me. Wow. I... I don't even know what to say. My father said I was better off dead. And I believed him. Wow. Where is he now? Dead. Nemesis caught up with him. Hmm. So, what happened to your marriage? I got better and my my appearance improved. My husband suddenly became abusive. He simply feared I would leave him. But guess what? After my father's burial, I still left. <sighs> Lagos. Became a domestic staff. I never saw him or heard from him again. Mm. Wow. Well, well Neka has taken down the news. But she also set the narrative straight that. We're never married. I did that for a hundred million. You did that for me. Well, I did it for DJ Mart. Of course, I did it for you. Do you think I was actually going to sit back? Watch them crucify you on just leave. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Try to have an ideal mind. My past flashes right before me. My, my head is filled with voices of negative comments made to me by my father. And no matter how I try, I, I don't seem to. Shut it out. Mm. I think you're actually emotional. You need to detach yourself. You are mine. You are I I didn't know you had a guest. I got you shower from your favorite spots, so I will just leave it on the microwave for you.
Titi, I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. We put them back together, right? I told him the truth about my past. I always knew I didn't stand a chance with him. Titi, oh, here we go again. Please don't even go there. You and I know it is not true. Tell me, what did he do for you to finally open up to him? Nothing, I guess. He didn't do anything. He just didn't want to lose him. Right? He is my business partner. Oh, please. Please, Brenda. Stop making it look like it's just sex and business when you and I know there is more to it. I swear. I swear there is nothing, nothing more to Ramsey and I. It is the same as always. He does whatever he wants and I do me as well. Let's not start, please. Mm. I mean, you know, I've actually tried to show you all the love and affection, tried to show you how to really care about you. But frankly speaking, I just think you want it all. You want it all. You want, you want to have a boyfriend and a spare. Huh? And frankly, I don't even know which I am. That is not what is happening here. Okay, so what's happening? So just tell me what's happening. I, I'm not even sure if you know what's happening because I'm sure you're confused, just like me. Babe, I like you. But you like T too. And David. But... David. My David. The lawyer, David. I, 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 I had wanted to tell you, but... Please, I didn't intend to hurt anyone, you know.
people can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our be I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. Somebody help, I need help from a demon. Somebody please come and save me. Yes, I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. Help, help, I need help from a demon. Help, somebody please come and save me. Help, yes, I've been fighting on my own. Scared to get home. I hate being alone. I long for that feeling of not feeling at all. Cause the higher I get, it's the lower I see down. Can't drown my demons. Cause they know how to swim Just when I think that it's over I hear my demon whisper You are mine You are mine Somebody help I need help from my demon Somebody please come and save me Help. Yes, I've been fighting on my own And it looks like I'm losing Help, help I need help from my demon Help, somebody please come and save me Help. Yes, I've been fighting on my own And it looks like I'm losing Help People can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our feet. Look in the eyes, look in the eyes of the demon. I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. See, people can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our feet I've been fighting on my own And it looks like I'm losing Somebody help I need help from a demon Help Somebody please Come in Is everyone in this house dead or what? I've been ringing the bell for hours. I had a bit of alcohol to take last night and my head is still banging. Do you think you can keep it low? What are you doing here? Did we break up and you did not mention? You haven't been taking my calls. I needed time to figure out what I was really doing. Did you come out to a decision? I hate polyamory. I think it's a fake lifestyle. I don't want to share you with any woman. And I still don't like Brenda too. But this has been clear from onset. I really like you, Toby. I want to stay committed to you. Cassandra, I like you too. You make an amazing girlfriend. I like Brenda as well. But I do not want to be in a relationship with two women anymore. Oh. 
Yes. I have been thinking and um, last night I came to a conclusion. I'm ending things with Brenda. I want to give us a real shot this time. Are you serious? Yes. I think Brenda's heart is with someone else. Oh, I get it. So I'm the available option. Oh, no. Come on, no, 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 that's not it. I realize I, I wanted Brenda because I just couldn't have her. Brenda has an amazing personality, no doubt, but she's just a goal I was trying to attain. What are you saying? My love, what I'm saying is I want to do this with you, for real. to see anyone. Oh, it's almost 12 p.m. and she hasn't had breakfast. Brenda, can you hear me? If it's about what happened yesterday, then I'm, I'm really sorry. What happened yesterday? It's over. I will just wait here. Brenda. Brenda. Is everything okay? Come in. Brenda, can you hear me? Is she? Brenda. See. See. Brenda. 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 Jesus Christ. I thought you were dead. What? What? Uh, did, you, did, you, did you try to harm yourself? Uh, what? Uh, no way. I can't believe you would think I'm suicidal. I don't even know what to think with you anymore. I will help. Please get to stops. Pause it. Pause with a stare. T thinks you need help. Not me. She does. Okay, Cassandra, are you going to do this or should I? What exactly are we doing? 
Cassie and I had a conversation while making this delicious meal in the kitchen. And? Babe, you need help. And we want to help you. Yes. Is this some sort of intervention or what? What exactly is going on? Hey, please give us the opportunity to help you. Please. The truth is, there was a period of my life I would have appreciated what both of you are trying to do right now. I am in control of my life. I have it all figured out. I go here all by myself. founded an app that will pay me for life. So what if I'm addicted to sleeping pills? Okay, just what if? What if I love alcohol a little bit more? They help me come together. They keep me together. You see those two? I am not quitting them anytime soon. And please, I would appreciate if both of you start minding your business in this house. Sure, because there's a guy downstairs who looks exactly like David. Maybe you should come and confirm if he's the one. Thoughts we cleaned him. Well, I, I owe you an apology. I should have helped speak your idea better. I tried to keep you low because I was scared of letting you go. You were only protecting your interests. You deserve more. And you think Ramsey is the man? And, uh, there's so much potential inside of you that if you would just let yourself shine. And a quick word around my spender to not give ears to what anybody thinks. To hell with what my father thought. Yes. To hell with what your father thought. Wait, uh, what did you find? 
that's an abuser. Well, he lost. Because that's up of yours is about to make a kill I, I, I just hope you don't forget me. Not when I'm not raving mad. Uh, well, I... Dave, I don't want to go see you. Well, you won't, because I'll still be here, but as a friend. You see, Brenda, Ramsey has been so good to me. I am going to let you go. Sorry for putting up that attitude. I'm sorry. It's okay. You want to sit on the bench? Yes. TNO exclusive. Okay, Cassie, we have to do something about this. You have a whole lot of things out with our certain limit first. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm happy for both of you. You are? Of course. Cassie is a wonderful woman, so you're in safe hands. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Brenda, my blueberry, will you be all right? Yes. She will, with our help. So, what do you have in mind? Um, I was thinking of Something that will keep you high and happy at the same time. Something that is neither alcohol nor pills. My Newberry, we the men in your life have decided that you have to settle with one of us, else we will cut you into three parts, equal parts anyway, and we'll share the parts. I have a match in my car. No, I'm not joking. But unfortunately, I am taking. So you have to choose between these two gentlemen. 
Come here, baby. Well, I... I'm not taken. But I really do not want to sail the ship anymore. Yeah. Uh, and then can I actually have got him for us? That means he's very single. <laughs> Sorry. Look, Brenda. I will never forgive myself if I miss out on a beautiful woman like you. you know, I honestly want to be. I want to know what's really going on. So is that a yes? Yes. Is that a proposal? Because I can't see any ring. Cassandra. I'm sorry. Well, Brenda and I are actually going to take it. <laughs> wow. This calls for a celebration. Exactly. So I'll go get drinks. Um, I'll tell you one second. Please, I would like something non-alcoholic. I'm staying away from pills and alcohol. I got you. I got you. Okay. Hey, I will tell you all about it later, okay? Okay. okay. Settle down, everybody. Refreshment is on the way. <laughs> so, um, one second. Oh, man. Oh, I'm really happy for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you won. You can say that, man. Yeah. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. One more thing. I actually do not have feeling friends. I would love you feel the void. Please. Friends? We're sisters. Come on. Are you serious? Thank you, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> okay, now you go sit down with your men while we serve you. I just have to be Oh. See?
people can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our feet. Look in the eyes, look in the eyes of the demon. I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. See, people can change, people can learn and grow. If we decide, decide to face our feet. I've been fighting on my own and it looks like I'm losing. 